Ciao ragazzi! Benvenuti a Roma. Welcome again to Rome. Today is day six of my 28-day adventure in Rome. Rome is called the Eternal City. And uh, generally when they say that, they mean because it's it's been maintained all these years. And uh, it is expected to keep doing that. And it's always growing, it's always evolving. They call it a lasagna because it's built on top of the past and, and, and all that. Um, and of course, you know, lasagna. <laughs> Makes sense, right? Um, but uh, I'm thinking <laughs> it's called the Eternal City because there's just so much to do. And it would take you an eternity to do it. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and that's how I'm feeling now. I'm starting to feel this anxiety of, and paralysis of choice because there's just so much to do and so many things to see and i'm starting to to think about like oh well uh, you know i i'm gonna miss out and uh, you know i gotta see this and i gotta see that and it's like you know another exercise in reminding myself that that's a very very silly attitude and i shouldn't do that <laughs> so today uh i went out and uh <laughs> I started at uh, kind of the top, um, where the north is city, and my my plan originally was to start at the top of Via Corso and um, head down to the center of the city. And I took the, the subway out uh, to that area and was going to like kind of walk back, um, but I just kept <laughs> getting distracted um, by cool things I wanted to see. And uh, so I didn't really make it very far. <laughs> so again, eternal. Um, there's an eternal choice of things to do. And so, yeah, I started at the uh, Piazza del Popolo, which is basically the people's uh, piazza or square. Um, and uh, it's a really cool space. The first thing I wanted to see there was, of course, the Basilica Parochiale Santa Maria del Popolo. Popolo. I hope I pronounced that right. Sort of. Um, and the reason why I wanted to go see that in particular is because it all, it is home to a very famous uh, Caravaggio painting. Um, La Conversazione di San Paolo. <laughs> That's... Oh, uh, I'm trying. Um, but it's the conversion of St. Paul. And uh, it's a beautiful little spot. Uh, they've got a weird system there where the church is really dark and they have these lights. And in order to turn them on, uh, you have to add a little donation. And so it, it's kind of an interesting thing where the, the, the church was really crowded. Everybody was sitting there um, waiting for someone else to... <laughs> To make a donation to turn the lights on and uh, you know um, in a lot of people's defense they didn't know that was the deal um, but yeah uh, at some point I was trying to take pictures and it went dark and <laughs> we're all just sitting there and I was like well isn't anybody gonna no all right and so people are trying they're getting up really close <laughs> and they're taking photos with their phone and, and really getting up close and of course you can't use flash um, and I could kind of see that people were like, oh, you know, like maybe, maybe we should do that in the dark. And so I just kind of like, I walked through everybody <laughs> and, and dropped, dropped a Euro in the, in, in the box and the lights came on and <laughs> we were all able to take our pictures again. So interesting. Um, but yeah, I'm really, I really like Caravaggio. Uh, he has a um, a really unique style. It's a very um, later Renaissance um, uh, play with light, um, but purposely making his, his paintings dark, which is kind of appropriate for that church. So that was kind of cool. Um, but of course, the church is beautiful. Like it's, it, um, but it has not only like literal dark, um, but it has a lot of dark imagery with all these bone sculptures and things. I have to look up what the significance is because uh, I'm not really sure. And of course, next up was like to visit the piazza itself. Uh, it was uh, 
I, I guess they, they have some kind of anniversary for the military. And so it's filled with like um, planes and stuff, but it's, it's kind of a cool place. Um, and it's a, such a cool introduction to the city. So if you imagine in the past, you would come down uh, from the north, either coming from like um, Romini or Venice along the plains, or you'd, you'd be like traveling through the Alps and uh, down the valley and into um, Rome from the north. And you'd walk through these gates and you would be in the piazza and there were those two uh, churches at the end and then this great big road, the Via Corso, um, to just introduce you. And it is really, really cool because sta even standing in the piazza, you can see right straight down the street and, and even see the altar of the fatherland from way up there. You're on a bit of a hill uh, and, and it just kind of goes down, but the, the street is wide and it's designed, I'm going to talk a little bit about this um, on another uh, date when I have a little bit more footage, but um, it's designed specifically so that you can see, you know, all the way down to the, the old city. And it's, it's kind of a, a, an interesting experience. Um, and like I said, the most famous feature is those two twin churches on the south end. I did manage to visit one of them. One of them was open, the Chiesa Santa Maria dei Miracoli. Miracoli, um, the, the, um, uh, the Church of uh, Mary's Miracle. And um, I, I lit another candle for Nancy, um, which I'm going to continue doing. And I know I've already done uh, one in Rome, but Rome's got so many churches and so many basilicas in particular. I, I think that um, I, I think that's okay. Um, but yeah, I wanted to really, my, as I said in the beginning, my, my, my goal was to go down this road and, and like um, walk the extension of it, but I kept getting distracted and I didn't even really plan on it. Um, but right away, two churches um, like kind of pulled me in. Uh, the first was the Chiesa Parochiale San Giacomo. <laughs> um, and it's a nice little spot. It's um, it's a cool little place. Like a, the uh, the facade is very flat, and then you walk in, and there's gorgeous uh, paintings on the ceilings. And I was like, oh, well, I gotta go check that out, <laughs> right? Um, and then uh, and then I was walking by, and I didn't. I've never even heard of this church at all. Um, but it's uh, called the Basilica of Saint Ambrosia and Charles on the Corso. And what's interesting about this particular church is that it was, uh, it's this magnificent space and it was gifted uh, to the Lombards, um, the, the kingdom uh, of the Lombards um, for when they, um, uh, or for those citizens uh, when they were visiting Rome. And like I said, I didn't, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't expect to make that stop, but um, I just, I was curious, I saw it. Um, it, it's enormous and it's got a big dome um, that you can see from the hill, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Um, but uh, I hadn't heard about it and I looked it up on Google and the review that I, I happened upon suggested that if I didn't go inside and check out the paintings on the ceilings, I would regret it. And so I was like, okay, well, that's quite the sale. <laughs> and so I went inside and oh my God, it's, it's uh, like very elaborate. It's... Uh, it's adorned with um, uh, all kinds of gold, uh, but also paintings and columns and the ceilings are just absolutely gorgeous. And what's interesting is normally when you go into these churches, they have these velvet ropes that close off the, you know, the, the active areas, right? Um, places like the altar, they don't want you up there. And, and, um, and, and this one has this entire little uh, hallway that goes in the, in the back. Um, that I noticed one side had a little rope uh, stopping people, but the other one didn't. And there was a bunch of us just wandering through. It was so gorgeous to see all that. Um, but as we started to walk back, there was kind of a like a, a very busy, maybe a little embarrassed, maybe I'm projecting, church administrator just kind of running up and, and deciding to shoo us out and, and close these spaces. And I was thinking, oh, man, you know, maybe, maybe we aren't supposed to be back here generally 
So maybe this was kind of a once in a lifetime experience. So, you know, that was kind of cool. Um, <laughs> maybe, uh, or maybe, you know, it was lunchtime. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, knowing I was starting to run out of time, I, I, as soon as I left the church, I was like, well, I can't, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to make it all the way downtown definitely before like I had to be back and go to work. And, um, and so I decided to hang a left and, um, uh, at the Spanish steps, which was a natural way to end this, this portion of the trip. And if you, if you're not familiar with the Spanish steps, they're these steps that the reason why they call it the Spanish steps is because originally the embassy for Spain was there. Um, but they built these, these grand steps, uh, out, up to the church and created this outlook. Um, it's got a piazza there. It's, it's gorgeous. Um, and just a great like place to hang out and very, very famous. A lot of people like hanging out on the steps and walking up the steps. What was cool personally for me was I walked up the steps and, uh, I, I really didn't feel like I can feel the effects of all this activity and, and healthy food. Um, because I really wasn't, you know, that wasn't much of an effort to get up those uh, steps. You know, there's still a lot of steps and, you know, you get out of breath or whatever, but, you know, um, uh, having these tests really like uh, are indicative of, of, you know, your own personal like health <laughs> getting a little better. And, and uh, it's interesting. And I do remember in 2018 when I was here um, going up those steps and just being absolutely exhausted <laughs> by the time I got up there. Right. So, uh, you know, mind you, then I was carrying a backpack the whole time. So, you know, I guess that's a little different. Once I made it up the hill, I figured, eh, might as well check out the church at the top. And that's uh, Trinita de Monte. Um, and it's a tiny little church, um, which is surprising considering like all the effort it takes to get up there and how big the surroundings are and everything. And it's on top of the hill and it's the focal point of it. Um, but even more interesting is there's an entrance to the metro or the subway um, up there. Um, so you climb up all these steps and then you go down into the metro. <laughs> it was strange seeing that sign. And so, you know, I had to, to leave and head back to the apartment. And um, so, yeah, I just went on the metro. Uh, there is an elevator that takes you down like quite a bit. And then you're, you know, go down all these steps everything. So it's not like the subway goes up the hill or anything, but, uh, it, I, I found it kind of neat, you know, it's the subway, but you're on at one of the highest points. Well, Rome has seven hills. It's one of the seven hills. Right. And, uh, so <laughs> interesting. Um, and I did, I mean, uh, I don't want to dwell on the negative or whatever, but I did like run into some Metro issues on the way home. Um, and I was a bit late for work. So, uh, you know, thankfully I have a very nice boss who's understanding and I could just work a little later. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a little bit of a shock and I hope whatever situation that, um, uh, that happened there, uh, I think it was maintenance. Um, but hopefully that doesn't linger, uh, cause I want to see this town <laughs> and I need the Metro to do it. Um, and so, yeah. And I should also mention too, again, don't want to dwell on the negative, but I broke my, uh, my handheld phone holder thing. I'm avoiding the term selfie stick. It's a little tripod-y thing um, that I could use as an extender and all that. And it's just broken, which is why I'm here again on the balcony instead of somewhere exotic or walking around because I got to go figure out how to find a new one, uh, uh, which is another fun challenge to be in a foreign country, uh, not knowing their language and, uh, having to go up to someone and say, Hey, do you know where I could buy a selfie stick? If you know, <laughs> send me a message, leave, leave something in the comments, a store, uh, something I could search for or, or some, anything, uh, would be helpful anyway. Uh, so more adventures, more churches, more hills, more walking, uh, more, love of Rome. Uh, <laughs> I'm lucky uh, that I get to experience all this and I'm, I'm very, very happy I'm, I'm doing it. And I hope you're doing well. And I hope uh, this is inspiring to, for you to go and uh, 
um, visit some churches uh, in some places that you want to go and climb some hills and some steps and um, get some nice food and uh, healthy activity and start walking up Spanish steps and realizing, hey, this isn't so hard anymore. Uh, and if there's any way I could help, please let me know. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe. Really appreciate that. And keep the comments and the likes coming. Uh, I like that even more. <laughs> really appreciate the fact that you guys are watching these things. And uh, there'll be another video tomorrow. So, arrivederci and ciao. Good night, everyone.